Okay, so lots of people who start playing Dauntless and they mainly come from Monster Hunter or another similar game, they see the Warpike weapon and they are thinking, man, I will use this, I will be a fucking Spartan. But then they start playing the Warpike and realize they feel a bit more like this. He's for de atomizer. That's what I'm talking about. Noisy cricket. Hey everyone, your friendly fast talking high pitch Shadow Strider is back with another Dauntless build video, and I will be showing a Warpike support build today. You all know that there is one thing I hate in Dauntless, it's called Boreas, and there is a second thing that I hate using, but I have to, and I hope that uh, they give it a bit more love, which is the Warpike. In no way am I saying the Warpike is a bad weapon, it has a great idea behind it, but I think they need to do some rebalancing and make it more viable for both Soul and team fights. The wound mechanic behind it is great, but not good enough for the current state of the game. But enough about me complaining, let's do the quick shadow ads and move on with the build. You can now support me whenever we make a purchase in the Dauntless store and the Epic Games store by using my creator code Shadow Strider written with a zero. Just input it in either the support the creator field or the creator tag field. I also help and play with viewers on Twitch so you can come and join me sometime, link is down below. The build is what I consider a good build. Some might disagree, some might say it's a piece of crap, some might like it and quite frankly I would still love all of you for it because you're taking a bit of your busy time to check it and give feedback. Let's make it short and sweet by increasing the talking speed and getting to the point. You will use a cool shot war pike with a Cidic and Iceborne cell, Savage Wellspring special since we're going to be more of a support and less damage. If you're facing a boop of behemoth and you want to do this, this and this, to that behemoth, then use the regular concussive payload, but if you have someone else who can boop, or you can pick up your booping grenades, or you generally give zero fucks about booping and all you care about is supporting your team with more power, then use Savage Wellspring. The munitions amplifier mod is for lazy people like me who are not used to the pike and fail at evading with it. Simply build up a bit of weapon meter, press Q and let the mod make your charge better. For the helmet, you will use a Rezakary one with Predator cell. If you cannot farm him or want an earlier helmet, then use a Shrike one. You will lose a bit on the conduit perk, but the Shrike helmet still has a technique slot and you can get your predator cell in it. The chest will be a cool shot one with savager cell, the gloves are gnasher with rage hunter cell, the leggings are boreas with predator cell and finally the lantern is a drask one with conduit cell. Ok, 2 minutes let me take a deep breath. So boys and girls, men and women, with this here setup you will be one hell of a warpike user with 6 mapped out perks, acidic, conduit, iceborne, predator, rage hunter and savagery. The goal for the build is to be viable for soul and team fights. Your warpike special and conduit will give your team overall attack speed and damage increase. Predator and rage hunter will be your main damage perks so you do not fall behind the others a lot, but the main stars are acidic and savagery. What you want to do in team fights is focus on getting all possible behemoth parts wounded. If you are going for part breaks just move on from one part to other. If you have wounded everything then start destroying them with the rest. Acidic is the best perk for the warpike currently increasing your wound damage. The reason I have put savagery in is so that you do not fall behind the team and so that the build is viable when you play solo. If you play solo, focus on a part, wound it, then destroy it, then move on to the next. In team fights, try to maximize the number of wounded parts for your team and then focus back on destroying them. Finally, we have Iceborne, which fits well with the cool shot Warpike and gives noobs like me, who cannot use the Warpike, um, a good way to survive and to be lazy about the fights. I know Predator needs skill and you have to evade to use it, and Iceborne is opposite to it, but I wanted to have a bit of skill and laziness in the same build. Think of Iceborne as a safe measure just in case you fail and focus on being a better slayer by keeping the predator buff always up. For consumables the only one I recommend to definitely take is inside tonic for the extra wound damage. You can also take concussive grenades against boopable behemoths so that you can offer extra support. This is only if you decide to go for the savage wellspring special or if there is no one else who can boop. Regarding what combo to use, I'd stick with primary attacks only until you get most of the stuff wounded and then move to only secondary attacks. I'm genuinely still bad with the warpike and its combos so I'd rather not give any stupid or wrong advice on how to properly properly execute its combos. I'm trying to get better and give you guys more help, but it's better to be honest and open about it and not disappoint. Anyways, this was everything for this video, as always, thanks for watching guys and girls, be sure to give it a like or a dislike as you see fit. Do not forget to also drop a comment down below with feedback or suggestions on what you want to see in future videos. Also check the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and Discord community where I invite you to follow me or join me. Finally, of course, if you want to see more content like this, press the subscribe button and the bell icon in order to get notifications. This is everything for me for this video, see you in the next one, Shadow Strider out.